Hi, my name is Ron Kimura, and this is my audition for the role of Grandpa. Do I smell bacon? Mrs. Anderson didn't feel right all of a sudden. Grandpa! Morning, you crazy youngins! To this day, no one had asked Grandpa who he really supported during the war. Good morning, Dad. Hello, son. There was a time when the embraces of his father would comfort Mr. Anderson, but now each hug from the gradually frailing body of his father is a painful reminder of his eventual and inevitable death. How's my princess doing? Alarms rang in the daughter's head as the seemingly random code she felt compelled to write began to become decipherable. Mass destruction imminent. Good. And you, young man, you hardly ate a thing. Here, have some bacon. Lieutenant Anthony Michael Anderson was suddenly reminded of the horrific smells of burning civilian flesh, the screaming, all the screaming. The most important meal of the day. So, familial anecdote. My mother was uh, an eccentric woman. She lived through the Great Depression and was a Roman Catholic who lived in Cleveland, Ohio, where I grew up. When I was in my 30s, I was living and working in New York State, but I was in the habit of coming home for Christmas Eve. Uh, one particular year, I asked a girlfriend of mine to come with me. So we arrived there, and you have to understand how Christmas Eve went at my house. My mom always wanted the family to go to midnight mass, but she wanted to get there several hours early so that she could have her pick of the pews to sit in. Uh, we sort of gave her more and more guff over this over the years and uh, basically refused to do it. But since I was coming home with my girlfriend, I decided let's let's humor her because what she used to do was she'd get her coat on and sit at nine o'clock in the evening in the uh, the chair in the living room while we were all watching TV, uh, sort of as an act of passive aggression with her arms crossed and this black cloud over her head. Um, to get, sort of drop a non-so-subtle hint. Well, this year we decided, okay, we'll take her there. We left the house at 9.30. It took 15 minutes to get to the church. We pulled up, and my mom said, well, it's all dark. What's going on? What happened? I said, what happened is we're here two and a quarter hours early. And she said, well, Ron, go, go, go around the front by the front door. See if there's, uh, there's, we can get in. I said, all right. Went around the front door where the only light in the building was on the outside, but th there was a chain across the doorway. Well, I figured if I don't look like I'm really trying to figure out what's going on, peek in the windows, my mom's not going to be satisfied. And as I'm peeking in the windows, I hear this voice behind me say, can I help you? And I turned around and it was a priest in, in a cassock from the rectory. He came over and I said, yeah, we're, we want to go in for uh, New Year, Christmas Eve mass. And um, he said, well, that doesn't start until 12 midnight. And I said, yeah, I know. He says, well, we're not going to open the church until uh, at least for another hour. And uh, so we wound up sitting in the car in the dark for an hour only to go in and sit for another hour so she could get her pew. Um, I guess the only button to the story is um, I figured that uh, any girlfriend that would stay with me through witnessing this family sort of quirkiness, she must really be in love with me. And indeed, she is and was, and we've been happily married for 23 years.